Hi, my name is Walter Dumpy. I'm the executive chef at Boston University. Today I'm going to cook a dish for you that I created for the Sergeant's Choice program. And it's called yellow Andalusian style gazpacho served with spicy shrimp. We're going to start with some heirloom cherry tomatoes. I'm adding them to croutons, which I made from 100% whole wheat rolls. I tossed it with just a little bit of olive oil and toasted it in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes, giving it a shake once in a while. So add the two together. You want the bread to somewhat soak up some of the tomato juice and take on some of those flavors. Next, what we're gonna do is marinate some shrimp. Today I'm using a Spanish olive oil, a much more clean finish. I'm using a champagne vinegar, and the juice of one lime squeezed. I have some minced shallot and some fresh garlic as well. Today I'm using a smoked paprika. I like the smoked paprika because it adds a lot of depth to the dish and just another layer of flavor. And then cayenne pepper, of course, that's just straight heat. Some ground black pepper, and some fresh thyme minced fresh minced oregano. Quick whisk. I have 32 shrimp here. They're peeled and deveined and teal's on. I just like the appearance with the tail on. Some find it a little bit more cumbersome to eat, but it looks a lot better as far as I'm concerned. Combine them well. It's going to take on some nice heat. Well, that's marinating. We're going to work on our gazpacho. Today I'm using a vine-ripened yellow tomato. It's a different look. People don't expect it. They're lower in the acid. We're going to start combining all the components of the gazpachos. First go in the tomatoes. Now I have peeled, seeded, and chopped English cucumber, and then Vidalia onion. I prefer Vidalia. It allows all the flavors to come through. You have yellow bell pepper, brunoise. Again, I'm using Spanish olive oil. Here comes the heat. We got some minced jalapeno, nice and fresh. A little bit more champagne vinegar, minced garlic, and then I have just a touch of kosher salt and some white pepper. Don't want to really taint the color of the dish very much. This dish is very, very low in fat, low in sodium, of course. When we get this all well combined, we're going to transfer it to a blender. Going straight into the blender. That's another nice part about this. You can make the soup ahead of time because you can hold it refrigerated. There we go. Nice bright yellow. Okay, now we're gonna move over to the stove. You want the pan really hot when we add the shrimp to the saute pan. But all the contents are straight in the pan. Ah, uh, you can smell the heat in it. It's gonna be nice and fiery, nice and garlicky. The shrimp are gonna begin to curl, turn a little pink. You want that to happen on all sides. While that's happening, we're gonna begin the plating process over here. We're gonna set a stage for the shrimp themselves. The bread adds a nice crisp contrast. What it's gonna do is gonna allow the shrimp to stay above water, so, so to speak. Now you can go straight from the pitcher with this, but of course, if you kept in the refrigerator, you just ladle it in. What you wanna do is kinda surround that stage of bread and tomatoes that we put in there. With our tongs, I'm just gonna add four, five shrimp per, and get them right in the center. I'm garnishing with toasted almonds today. It's traditional Spanish garnish for gazpacho. Then I did some chiffonade out of mint. Yeah, this kind of cool, refreshing finish going along with that jalapeno pepper that you've added, the cayenne that's in there. For an additional garnish, I'm using micro bull's blood. So there you go, yellow gazpacho, spicy shrimp. It's delicious, nutritious, relatively simple to put together, and I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.